In the book Demon, Brian Gregg uses an SQL injection attack to hack into a server in order to join a secret society run by a dead man. Good book. SQL injection attacks are real, though. I've consulted with several experts who wish to remain anonymous in order to help give you a very basic explanation of what they are. Let's start with blog software as an example. A lot of people run it, but they don't really understand how it works. And that's okay as long as you regularly update and don't expose administrative functions to the internet. When you type your login ID and password into a web page, it is passed as a string of text into a variable, and that variable is then interpreted as part of a command. Let's say the statement's like this, a select command looking for a username. This tells the application to select from a table called users the name that equals the string username. So let's say you type your username for the lols, the string will look like this, and only the name for the lols will be selected. Normal SQL injection is often detected by fuzzing a parameter with malicious characters like this. So you've got your example login sending some post data that's malicious. And the application will return a 500 internal server error, an SQL error, or both. Now a clever hacker could enter something like A apostrophe or T equals T with the apostrophes as the username. Then that's going to turn the command to this. And the request is going to look like this. Do you see how the single quotes are used to surround what becomes an argument? Since t always equals t, the selection comes back as evaluated true, even though a real username has not been entered. This could work for a password, too. And the problem here is allowing multiple statements within one call. Your query API should not allow this. The injection attack used in Daemon is what is sometimes known as a magic string. This one's clever, because unlike the injection we just talked about, a magic string can potentially give you admin access, not just generic user access. The attacker simply enters apostrophe or one equals one. For as an example, here's your login, and the post data is passed as so. This causes the statement to be interpreted as this, where it's saying name equals blank, or one equals one. Well, this selects for all the users in the table and allows you to be logged in as the user at the top of the table, because one always equals one. There are many more injection types than this, including blind SQL injections and vulnerabilities inside the server, but this should give you a fair idea of what these attacks are and how they work. The experts I consulted recommended using manual code reviews and enforcing the use of parameterized statements to ward off these kinds of attacks. Thanks for watching Hacks. Stay safe out there.